welcome everyone who wanted to uh, devote their time and energy to talk about us, about the uh, global education. And we would like to share with you, we've got uh, two um, IBGP graduate students on board, Paulina and Natalia. My name is Natalia Kuder. I am, I can say I used to be a DP2 student because as you, some of you probably know, we have finished our courses and our final exams. Uh, moreover, I introduce myself as a part of a band called 15 Minutes After. Um, so, hello, I'm Paulina. I'm also a graduate, this year graduate. Um, same uh, with Natalia, I'm a member of 15 Minutes After band uh, and I'm playing guitar and piano. Yeah. We've got uh, three students from in the first year of uh, DP1, um, uh, Alexandra, Olga and Leon. I'm Olga and I'm DP1 student. I love traveling and debating. I'm Alexandra, I'm a DP1 student and I love learning languages. Mm -hmm. Hello, my name is Leon, I'm a DP1 student. I'm a musician, uh, a dancer and I also do different kinds of sports like cycling, tennis, windsurfing, skiing, and I'm also very interested in buses and public transport. And what a global education is for you. It gives us a possibility to study in English, which is the language which opens the world for us. Form those international connections with other people. A different way of learning. Uh, here we concentrate not only on memorizing things, but also on critical thinking. Uh, to step outside of your local bubble, to say outside of your comfort zone. And what has uh, somehow made you to take uh, IB education, right? Uh, you look through the study guide and um, to actually get to know the subject, you start to understand how different this mindset, this whole mindset of IB is. At first, the main reason uh, was that I was really interested in studying abroad. Different mindsets and different uh, perspectives on learning. Uh, the possibility to study, for example, business or economics and many different subjects that are not available in a Polish school. What um, choices do you have to make while going to IB? It is important to choose subjects that you want to study that you are interested in. Like the whole IB system gives us so uh, many opportunities to de deepen our knowledge in the given subject. So do try to go a little bit into this topic and see what it really is. So approach our the teachers that we have at school it's, um, and the support that they give us is just like so amazing and um, mm -hmm. well it really helps to you know like um, get into the subject and think differently about them. So what did you feel at that time? Um, was it very stressful for you? Um, what, were, what, what were you thinking about? At the beginning, I was totally terrified. Uh, it was kind of weird for everyone, I guess. It was that our uh, exams are cancelled. I, I couldn't believe it. I first thought it's like a fake news or <laughs> something like this because it was really, really shocking. But after all, uh, I think it's a really good situation because we know what's happening with us. We can see what our friends from Polish schools are, are struggling with. IB Director General Sivan Kumarishi was saying something like this. The biggest thing we have learned is the importance of community. So I would like to ask Leon, because you have done from the very beginning, okay, a great, great um, a job for our school community. I'm a type of person that cannot sit uh, at one place and do nothing. So um, after half of a month, I started to provide some dance classes for my friends and, and my family, uh, of course, in online version, to do some sport during the uh, coronavirus pandemic. How to continue the spirit of inquiry when we are at home? When we switched to online learning, I think it was it didn't hit me as much as it would in a Polish school. We already used laptops during the lessons and we already had this really um, modern way of learning. It wasn't that big of a change, uh, taking into consideration that uh, lots of IB uh, materials are online available. I think that the coronavirus pandemic taught us how to use 
modern technologies um, in education at school and I think it will be a great opportunity and uh, another great way to communicate with the teachers even when uh, we will be normally at school. Uh, I've uh, done a school exchange with the Netherlands, uh, India and Nepal and I've also studied one month uh, in the United States in Papano Beach High School in Florida. All of those experiences uh, were really eye-opening uh, for me, for sure. What can we learn from um, Asian countries? I go to school with a friend from Korea, her name is Jeannie, and she's one of the most hardworking people I know. Yeah, I think this culture is really respectable when it comes to um, how they handle the, the work they're <laughs> made to do sometimes. How important also is to be able to express ourselves. Let's go back uh, to Olga for a while. I know that you have taken many public speaking um, courses. So how about that experience? My journey started two years ago when I went to uh, Scotland uh, for summer school in St. Andrews University. I went to the United States and there I was really a surprise to discover that they learned debating from a very young age and they have it in uh, class. What will you adapt actually to your life or to your school habits after coming back to reality? Most of the people will adapt uh, even subconsciously is the, well, distance and some safety measures that we are living in. When it comes to education, the same as, uh, as known is that, uh, well, using a lot of this uh, digital, uh, the IT, uh, let's say, tools, because they really help to communicate in a really fast way. For me personally, uh, it would be the division of life to the study time and to the pleasure time, for sure. That's really important. That's true.